Good Thursday morning to you. In most Baptist churches, Methodist churches, Presbyterian churches, there is the tradition of communion service that is uh, usually the first Sunday of the month. And uh, it's where the church family gathers around the table and remembers uh, the love of, of our Lord as he uh, calls into a new covenant relationship with his disciples in the upper room that evening. And it was at the end of a Seder meal, the Passover meal. He said, and now I give to you a new commandment. I give you a new teaching, which is the fulfillment of the old. He said, I want you to know that as often as you break this bread, do this in remembrance of me. When you eat this, remember, this is my body, which is broken for you. Then likewise, he took the chalice, the one, the one goblet, and he passed it around. He blessed it. And he says, drink, drink ye all of it, all of you. I want to invite you to drink. He said, and when you do, I want you to remember the shed blood that I've given of my life for you, the essence of life. And, and with that, you know, Jesus commissioned them to become the ecclesia, the called out ones, and to always remember, which is the church, and always to remember that the bread and the cup uh, are symbols of the new covenant. He says, never forget it, always remember. Then this is taken in uh, 1 Corinthians eleven twenty four. 24. It says, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, this is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. I find it interesting that when people start losing their minds, we think of older people with dementia or Alzheimer's. And, and yet there are many people today who have lost their minds because they, they have forgotten who they really are. And they have forgotten the calling of Jesus Christ in their lives. And they're acting as if they've never known the forgiveness of Jesus Christ. And that they've thrown their witness away. And therefore, they have nothing really to share. Because the only thing we have to share is what God has done for us. That's our testimony in Him. People can say, have you lost your mind which means that, are you crazy? That's really what we mean in our vernacular today. He says, have you lost your minds? Well, many of us have, have, and we've lost our testimony because of it. As we get ready to partake of the bread and the cup this coming Sunday on the 5th of, of June, wherever you are, whatever church you're in, remember, it is what God calls us to remember in remembrance of him in remembrance of me says jesus pray with me father help us to remember the solidarity of your love the example of the bread and the cup and as we eat and as we drink may we be found faithful in our new commitment our new relationship with you for we ask this in the name of jesus our lord amen and you see, each time we eat of the bread and drink the cup, we are renewing a new covenant with him. We're admitting that we have failed him in the past week, the past month, and that we're looking for a better, closer relationship and forgiveness with him. Every time we eat it, the bread, every time we drink it from the cup, that's what we're saying. Father, forgive us for we are sinners. And we're here confessing our sin and wanting to begin again better forgiven, redeemed, and remembering. Remember who you are and whose you are and to whom you belong. Make this a wonderful Thursday in the name of Jesus for your life. I'll see you tomorrow on Friday. God bless you.